I'm be talking. Yeah, but tablet. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Hold on, I just did it. Okay. Well, just for future notices, I kind of like touch the middle line that's between me and he you. He said, "No, I keep it on religion. This relationship is laid out." Right now, listen. We go to we go to religion in a minute. So, peep game. What? So, 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 what was the um? What was the gist? We was talking about because I, I, I was. He's talking about city it. girls. How the city girls? Yeah, girl. but what, but where was that going though? Where was you going with that? Because I want to come in right there. Where was what? Yeah, where was that? Where was that topic going? Like as far as. Like, it was going to um well he he was talking about the relationship and how the city girls you know uh you know have this persona where they um like like with black women and like black men you know what i'm saying like they like <laughs> i can't explain it okay like, i'm gonna just i'm gonna just play devil's advocate right now and jump in and i'm gonna explain myself thoroughly but I have to come out very controversial. I feel when it comes to negativity, black women have too much power. When it comes to positivity, they don't have enough power. Um, I feel that black women, uh, and I love black women. Yes, I'm the black woman's guy, guy, hey, yes, that's me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak my truth. I feel that black women have been given too much fucking power to keep wicked shit present. And I don't give a fuck about, you know, I'm not here to, to, to lessen nobody's trauma. But what I'm here to say is there comes a time in life where we all have to grow up. I didn't have a dad. I'm a great fucking dad. Nobody showed me how to be a dad. So when women say shit like a nigga did me dirty, so yeah. what? Females did me dirty. Everybody's yeah. been done dirty. I didn't blew. I blew. Listen, I didn't been. We didn't all didn't been young before. We didn't blew rap. We didn't all made our mistakes. You don't get to have an excuse to pick and choose when your trauma is convenient for the withholding of your growth. So I feel like all that city girl shit, all that fucking nigga, all that shit, all of that shit is just a mask for the fact that you really toxic. It's yep. just like it's just because I used to gang bang. A nigga not going to, if a nigga come to Buffalo and at my name ring bells in the streets, for real, for real bells, and in the prison, if a nigga come to Buffalo and ask about what young girl about that action, they're going to say that nigga is an action Jackson. What are you talking about? So I didn't see, it's two types of niggas. It's niggas that's in the streets because they ain't got no choice. And it's niggas who just love chaos. So you got them, it's women like that. You got women out here that's lost. But they, it's, I always use this, the players club analogy. You got Lisa Ray, who just trying to pay for school. And then you got Trixie. A lot of these motherfuckers is Trixie, but they trying to have the Lisa Ray argument. It's a lot of women out here that's really just oh. toxic. Yeah, they really just toxic. But then they want the niggas ain't shit argument and whoop de whoop. And you don't get that fucking argument. And so my thing is, when it comes to black women, period, my thing is this. I have yet to see black. See, one thing about black women that they got to acknowledge is I have yet to see black women relinquish the ability to unfairly be in power. For example, I, black women say niggas ain't shit, right? I haven't seen no black women protest the fact that they can only receive certain benefits if the nigga is not in the house. And I'm going to bring that up because I heard the other dude say that. I haven't seen no black women say, you know what? We don't mind if the government give us housing assistance and food, but we want our man to receive it too. I haven't seen yeah. one. I've never seen a fucking documentary. I've never seen a fucking campaign. All of these females and all of this, oh, we running for mayor and I'm the first black this, the first black woman that. I've never seen a black woman say, hey, how the fuck is y'all promoting us in society, but you gonna leave our man behind? Exactly. So, so my thing is, black women need to be fair. Because just as much as y'all want a nigga to respect y'all, and I'm all for it. I'm the, I'm the black woman as God, nigga. This is yeah. what I do. But as much as black women want black men to hold them down, I've never seen black women hold us down 
on a public scale. I'm not talking about individually and you a good woman. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about on a collective scale. When you turn on CNN, when, when that, when that Asian man, when that Asian man beat the women up at that store and that man went and bust that windows, bust the windows of that store. And then all of them women went right back and bought that weed the next week. Okay. That's, that's how we, that's how they do us. That's how they do us. I have yet to see black women say, Hey, why y'all locking all these niggas up? Why exactly. is y'all why is y'all keep flooding the community with guns and drugs? So my thing is this: black women have to take accountability for the fact that they have fell in love with being comfortable with their toxicity. And I'm not gonna say all women, but a good majority. Black yeah. women have to take accountability that the same niggas that they saying ain't shit. Guess what? You raised them. You raised them because my thing is this. Motherfuckers say a woman can't raise a man. I don't I don't agree with that. Yeah. I don't agree with that. If you know how a man is supposed to act, you can raise a man. Mm -hmm. That's like a motherfucker telling me, if I don't have a woman, I can't teach my daughter how she should carry herself. Yeah. Now, it's certain shit that I'm going to have to get advice for. Like when she get on her menstruational cycle, I'm going to need some help. When it comes yeah. to underwear shopping, I'm going to need some help. But I know the principles of self-respect. I don't need a motherfucking female to tell me that my daughter should respect herself, that she should carry herself in a certain way. So my thing is, women have to accept responsibility for, for the fact that everything they don't like about black men, they either raise or they allow. That's what it is. I feel like, I feel like with those black women, they are like, they're traumatized. Like they're hurt within themselves and it's not gonna like, I feel like, cause some of them women, cause I got some of these type of women in my family. Me too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Too, like, yeah. and it's to the it's 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 extremely toxic. It's to the point where they see you happy in a relationship. Like, if I'm happy in a relationship, they hate me. They can't That's stand right. me. They can't stand me. They 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 want to throw dirt on my name. Like, it, it don't even have to be me being in a relationship. Me just being happy. Period. Right. They hate that shit. You know what That's I'm saying? Right. And, and like me growing up, like I was so confused. I'm like, why do certain people don't like me and I'm just being happy and like and I'm only 23 you know what I'm saying right. like these older 40 year old women when I go to the club these 40 year old women in the club giving me eyeballs why are you looking at me you know what I'm saying like in this type of like 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 I'm um because they like see I'm beneath you. you like I shouldn't be yeah. here you know what I'm saying that's right like they see and it's, they it's see crazy. You as competition yeah they see me as competition because like I'm promoting you know what I'm saying? Just being happy, healthy, and not being toxic, not being no real ass bitch. Like fuck these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, like women, I don't understand. Women, like, women, men are being bred. See, see, people say raised. Raised is not a is not raised. Don't do. She said, "Cause you look better." <laughs> raised doesn't do the situation justice. The word is bred. When you when you keep a mentality existence, and then you sexually reproduce and you continue to embed that mentality that's called breeding okay when it comes to black people today i don't want to hear nothing about no ten thousand years ago when niggas was flying around shut the fuck up we're talking about 2019 when it comes to today black men have been bred to be lazy and weak and black women have been bred to be competitive and masculine and nobody wants to acknowledge that black women feel that every other black woman is potential competition and they feel that every other black man don't have a right to be himself. And this is where the masculinity comes in. Now, that's, that's, now I'm not arguing with y'all about that. Everybody got at least one or two aunties in their family or a cousin who you can have a negative recollection with when you were a kid or now that will confirm what the fuck I'm saying. Everybody got an uncle or a dad that they have a past experience with where you needed them and they, they was too pussy or too lazy to be there. Half y'all motherfuckers, yeah. half y'all motherfuckers got family. You can't even get a fucking ride. So, so don't 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 come in here and act like I'm lying. Don't yeah. come in here and act like I'm lying. So my thing is, when it comes to black women, black women want the praise and the glory of being the matriarchs, but they don't want the responsibility for the fact that they haven't been doing a fucking job. And it just comes down to that. It's just like black men. Black men want to be kings and be leaders. But they don't want the, the 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 responsibility of the fact that you've been being a bitch ass nigga and you've been not been doing your job. So the fact of the matter is, I don't want to hear none of that shit. 
I too masculine. Yup. Two two yeah. these two masculine women. Yup, you right. Yeah, and it's like What's I don't I'm not I'm like I said, I'm not here to negate nobody's trauma. If something happened to you, that's horrible. But that's not an excuse for you not to become who the fuck you can be as exactly. yourself and your best self. So I don't really want to hear about the nigga that did you dirty. Because exactly. he ain't here today. Yep. That ain't got yesterday ain't got shit to do with here today. And so my thing is when it come to black women, they don't want to relinquish the the fictional power that the system or the Europeans are giving them. Okay? It's it's okay for a black woman to say on on national television, real last bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. That's okay. And a black woman is not gonna take responsibility for the fact that when when she say that, she not just talking about a nigga she don't know. She talking about her daddy, her granddaddy, her cousin, her kids if she got them. If Trigger she don't words. Them, yeah. So so they're not gonna. Black women don't want to take responsibility for the fact that they benefit from emasculating black men. They don't want to take responsibility for that. Busting the nigga windows, cursing the nigga out, embarrassing niggas on the internet, all of these music, scamming ass nigga, da 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 give a fuck about a nigga. They benefit off of keeping black men from being viewed in a respectable manner. And yep. then they get mad when niggas don't respect them. And yep. then that's just that's just on TV. Because if y'all really want to get gritty, I grew up just like everybody else. Let's talk about all of the moms that got different niggas in and out the motherfucking house. Let's talk about all of the moms who post, I ain't gonna say inappropriate, but pictures on the internet that, that suggest themselves sexually while they got kids. Let's talk about all of the women who embarrass their motherfucking sons. You out here on the internet with booty shorts on and this, that, and the third, you done went up to the motherfucking school with your titties all out, and your son is now developing a negative connotation towards you that he's gonna take out on every motherfucking female. Yep. And so let's talk about how your behavior is breeding negative pro thought projections towards females because you're doing it with your son. And if, he, and if women are not destroying the minds of their son, then they're doing the opposite. They weaken in their son because they're trying to turn their son into the magical nigga that they always wanted. You got fucking five-year-olds and six-year-olds out here with $400, $500 outfits on because you're trying to make him into the image of the neighborhood dope nigga that you never got. You're trying to make him into the image of, of the rap nigga that you never got. So my thing is, just as much as we need to advocate for black women, black women need to take responsibility for what they need to be doing for themselves. I cannot yep. complete. That's like me telling a woman, you need to completely get me on the right track. It's things that a woman can do for me that I can't do for myself because that's the power of a woman. But it's things that nobody can do for me and only I can do for myself because that's the power of me, myself, as a man. And women need to, w women need to respect that, too. That's women the yin and to, yang. That's the yin and yang. That's, exactly. And women need to say, you know what? We need to stop getting on this motherfucking TV and acting like the best thing about us is how fat, how fat our ass is in a fucking cute. Well, it job. benefits them. It benefits them. They're getting money. They, you know what I'm saying? So, like, some women don't feel like they don't feel like doing nothing. They like, well, whatever. We we still getting paid. Whatever. They still like project us, got us on this pedestal. And, like and you got a fat ass and some fat ass titties that you're gonna still be on this pedestal and still get the respect or whatever. And they need to and, and, and they get the respect, but they get it from the toxic niggas. Yeah. And so they can't be mad at that. It's like you can't be a drug dealer and they be mad when crackheads is ringing your door at three in the morning. So, yep. and you're trying to sleep. So it's like when it comes to women, if women want respect, they need to uphold that within themselves first, period. Yep. And so my thing is, it go both ways. It's some ain't shit out, ain't shit ass niggas out here. Hell yeah, I'm not going to deny that. But you also have to take responsibility for what you attract. It's a difference between, it's a difference between you driving and getting hit by a drunk driver. And then it's a difference between you driving drunk and running into a fucking pole. So... It's a difference. So my thing is, it's a difference between being a good-ass woman and getting done dirty, and then it's a difference between presenting yourselves as a toxic woman yep. and then and then being mad that you're attracting toxic niggas. So I'm going to yep. end on this before, yeah, before I pass the mic. Women got to gotta understand the power that they hold and stop being lazy. If you, it's no excuse. If a motherfucker say, well, I'm doing this because they paying me, that's a weak-ass excuse. You doing this 
because a part of you actually sees yourself like that. Because how many women say that and they say, I'm doing this because they paid me. If they told you to take that bum ass lace front out your motherfucking head and go on national TV, you wouldn't go on there if they paid you to do that. Half you motherfuckers don't answer the first time, the FaceTime if your hair not done. So I don't want to hear that. You do what the fuck you want to do. And you don't do what you don't want to do. So my thing is, when women decide that they want to be seen in a certain image, they will do that. But yep. until then, they're going to keep getting seen as the way they see themselves. And my thing is, we can blame the media all we it's, want to. It's the social, same thing. It's oh, the same yeah. thing with that Bernice. Did you see that Bernice uh, interview? When she was like, oh, don't call me a video vixen. I'm not a video vixen. That's not me. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -mm. But that's what she is. So she, she, she is this Instagram hoe that don't want to be called an Instagram hoe. She want to be called something else that's respected. But that's not what you portray yourself as. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy. That interview was crazy. That, that shit was crazy. I'm going to go peep it just because you said that. But yeah, and it's like, man, get, sit the fuck down, man. It's like you, you, nigga, you, you are what you portray yourself by. You are, you are what you tell people to call you. See, people say you are what you answer to. That's only certainly true. I mean, that's only, that's only uh, true to a percentage. You are what you name yourself. But if you're an Instagram hoe, be a proud Instagram hoe. You know what I'm saying? Be like, yup, I'm a video vixen and what? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so what? You know what I'm saying? Who cares at the end of the day? But. People be wanting this portrayal, like, oh no, like that's that's my that's my older years. No, but you still do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you're still doing it. Like I was, I was so confused. She was saying that um, Angela Yee was calling her a video vixen, and she's not calling her an entrepreneur or whatever the case may be. But that's what you still do. And and also look at your daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like like look how like she has a a, a 22 year old daughter that's doing the same thing she's doing, but she doesn't interact with her daughter because that's in competition because her daughter is the younger version of herself. Exactly. Like yeah. same 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 stuff that I'm dealing with same, my mom. Yeah, same like, same it's like same same wicked ass cycle. And it's like man, at the end she of the is. Day, I'm not saying that she's not an entrepreneur. I'm not saying that. And she's a video vix. She was like, watch, watch the. Uh, I'm gonna watch it. My thing is that I'm not here to sugarcoat shit. If you show your ass, I'm not trying to bash. I'm not bashing Bernice or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, nah, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm telling, I'm, te I'm telling what she. Well, I don't want. I, I don't give a fuck if it was Virgin Mary. <laughs> if you, if you get on this internet and you show your ass and your titties for profit. What do you what, what do you want me to let me let me let, let's be real. Yeah. I'm not gonna play with you motherfuckers on the internet. Okay? If y'all come on my page, okay, and I'm on this motherfucker with a man thong going and I'm stripping, is you gonna say, yo, this nigga is sexually exploiting himself for views, or is you gonna say he's an entrepreneur? No, no nigga. <laughs> yeah, you gonna say this nigga watch so, that oh. damn thing and, but that's the power of a woman. See, 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 this is, see, now remember in the beginning of this interview when I said females have too much power negatively? Yeah. Game. A female can act like a hoe and then justify it and say that she's being confident in her sexuality. No, you being a hoe. Because if you was being confident in your sexuality, bitch, we should have never looked down on prostitutes. Them prostitutes should be the next president. So exactly. What well, you, we we about to you see what they would <laughs> Yeah, like we you not gonna see 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 what they doing is they doing a more toned down version of yep. the tranny argument. Yep. It's like a nigga that say, Well, I don't wanna identify as a nigga, I'm a woman. And then it's like a woman saying, I'm gonna act like a, a whore, but I don't wanna identify as a whore. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you got that. A, yep. Like nah, use a whore. You exactly. Like a whore. That's like a nigga. A nigga not going. If that's the case, why every crack dealer is not called a drug or entrepreneur? So my thing is, when it comes to females, I'm gonna be the first to tell you. If you present yourself like a hoe to me, I'm gonna assume you's a hoe. I'm not gonna sit here and and try to be like, well, you know, she on she on Instagram with her nipples barely covered in a thong. Maybe she's a strong single mother. No, use a hoe, and um, you're using your body. To get ahead, yes, that's what exactly. I'm gonna think. I'm not about to say it's easy yeah. to come on here with, with just titties out and cute. That's easy. Anybody that's can do saying. that. So, so it's like, man, nobody about to play with y'all. It's like y'all. It's like females think that they can do what they want to do 
it's like females think that they can take the test and grade their own self. Yeah. And that's exactly. and that's the issue I got with women. My thing is if you're gonna do something, be a boss. Say motherfucker, I use my body to get ahead because that's what the fuck I wanna do. I can respect that. But don't sit here and do something and then you try to take it's kinda like Amber Rose, right? Because somebody said it in the comment. It's kinda like Amber Rose with the slut walk. Yep. Like bitch, you're a slut. Don't sit here and try to turn a, a, a you know sexual deviancy into a righteous cause. That's like crackheads coming up with a parade called the crack walk. Yep. We we proud drug addicts. Like so so are we going to start now telling people that they should have pride in defective behavior? What kind oh, of what, Okay, that's what I was I was figuring out and I was trying to uh text you back. I knew you I knew it was something. But yeah, like, no, I'm just saying. So, so should we start having pride in defective behavior now? It's either it is or it ain't. Like yep. if that's the listen. If, if and this is what I mean once again with women. This is the shit that killed me with women. Women, society has given women the power to do whatever the fuck they want. Because as long as the black woman is confused in her behavior, we're done. As long as bl black men and black women can't get along. We can't create nothing. We can't create a household or a community that would become competition to another community. So we live in a world where a black woman could get into a relationship, get pregnant by a nigga. Let's say she the one who fucked the relationship up. She still could take you to court for child support and blaze your ass just because she's a woman. We live in a relationship. We live in a world where a black woman could marry you, divorce you, and take half your shit, and she didn't help you earn $1. We live in a world where a black woman can hit your ass, but if you hit her back, you go into jail. We yep. live in a black a world where a motherfucking a black woman could bust your motherfucking windows, but if you go to her house and turn up, you go into jail. We live in a motherfucking world where y'all both can go half on a baby, but if she take you to court, motherfucking more than likely she gonna get full custody. We live in a motherfucking world where, where if a nigga, if a nigga is talking down on a woman. Or and, and, and he talking crazy to a woman, that's not cool. But if a woman talk down on a nigga and say niggas ain't shit, this, that, and the third, then she's a city girl. She's a hot girl summer. Yeah. So I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, we live in, I'm not even done. We live in a world where if a nigga sexually dance in front of his daughter, he's a pedophile. But how yeah. many of these girls is twerking with their kids right there in the fucking camera? And yeah. nobody, nobody says, hey, Damn, bitch, that's kind of pedophilic. You know what I'm saying? Or damn, you got booty shorts on, twerking in front of your kid while he in the high chair. That's kind of weird. So we live in a world where women have free range to do whatever the fuck they want to do, when the fuck they want to do it. And you and they don't even value a nigga enough to where when you say something, they even willing to hear you out. When you say something, the automatic defense is niggas ain't shit and I don't give a fuck or, or they going to bring up their past trauma to use that as an excuse why you now can't say something. Well, don't no nigga tell me shit because I didn't have a power. So my thing is women have to realize that they have been psychologically weaponized to stagnate the household just as much as the nigga they talking about. Am I yep. blaming black women completely? No, but it's not 70-30 like they believe. It's 50-50. Just as much as you saying niggas ain't shit, you need to realize you ain't shit either. What are you talking about? So black women have to understand that they have just as much a responsibility to contribute to mental health in our community just as much as we do. And they can dance and fucking frog jump and all the shit they want to do. It's not going to take away the fact that if it look like a duck, quack like a duck, it's a motherfucking duck. If you, got, if you look like a hoe, act like a hoe, use a motherfucking hoe. Nobody about to sit here and try to ask you what's your resume because you yep. on the internet butt-ass neck. Yeah. Nobody about to, I'm not about to ask you, damn, damn, you 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 shaking that ass on that pole. Did you graduate? Them niggas don't ask questions like that. And it, niggas don't ask questions like, damn, oh, she butt ass naked on the gram. I wonder if she got a fucking bachelor's degree. <laughs> like, is you serious? So it's like you want a motherfucker to you what you talking about? It, it it's it's just ridiculous, man. It's just ridiculous. And it's like it's like all of the shit that they do, they just try to act like that shit is has non existent effects. And it's like, how many little girls, you know what I'm saying? Even motherfuckers like Meg Thee Stallion, right? 
Because motherfuckers gonna say, oh, you talking about Meg the Stallion. You yes, I'm talking about Meg the Stallion. I don't give a fuck who I'm talking about. Right is right, wrong is wrong, bitch. So that being said, look at motherfuckers like Meg the Stallion, right? Ask yourself. Ask yourself, right? We just talking about taking responsibility. Because people are so caught up on money. It's not about a bag. It's not about trying to stop her bag. She's a black woman. I want to see her. Yeah, come time. on now. She, yeah. yeah. But this is this is what it's about, right? This is what it's about. Meg the Stallion got all of them followers. You have to ask yourself, how many of them followers is 30 and 40 and up? Ain't nobody auntie following Meg the Stallion. Ain't nobody mama. Ain't no grown adults following Meg the Stallion. Ain't no hardworking ass single black mothers following Meg the Stallion. The majority of her motherfucking followers are high school students and young college girls. said you ain't got no shirt on. She's so confused. She said you... <laughs> Keep, let's keep it together, boo. Keep it together. Let's keep it together. Meg the Stallion, the majority of her followers is high school, high school level women. I mean, young young women, young adults, and young college girls. So these, this is two generations that she's reaching. She she's she's reaching twenty years worth of feminine psychology in the black community that she's telling to go out here and do something that she's not even doing. She got a nigga at home. While she telling you to go out here and, and and give away your 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 sacred temple, so my thing is, one woman with a song that lasts three minutes and some change, in three minutes and some change, this woman has the power to set back twenty years worth of black women in our community. That's that's and women don't want to speak on that. Speak on that. You got a motherfucker out here that can put a rap video on the TV, and in three minutes. They can fuck up two generations. That's crazy. And nobody want to talk about that. Because when you say something, instead of her saying, you know what, I should be teaching these women to respect themselves. The first thing they do is they say, well, it's female empowerment. And, you know, we, we, we should be able to express our sexuality. So nah. it's just like, nah. I, I'm going to end on this. I'm going to end on this. With all of this shit going on, right, you should be able to express your sexuality. You should. But why would you want to be sexual or teach young people who not, they're not adults. They're not strong enough to physically express themselves. I mean, defend themselves. Why would you want to teach 15, 16, 17, 14, 13, 12 year olds to be sexually, to be strong in their sexuality when it's shit going on like sex trafficking at an all time high? When it's shit like, per so, mm -hmm. so if, 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 if we know that, that human trafficking is a thing, if we know that, Motherfucking every goddamn 60 seconds a black woman coming up missing wouldn't the first thing that you would want to do is at least tell a black woman to put some fucking clothes on that would be the first thing I would do I'm not going to tell my daughter to put some clothes on because I don't want people looking at her I'm going to tell my daughter you put some clothes on because this motherfuckers that ride around in vans every day looking for a motherfucker to snatch and you want to be the motherfucker that they pass if you don't see them before they see you don't want to be the motherfucker with the booty shorts on and the bra coming from yep. high school and you don't make it to the fucking bus stop because they seat you and got your ass up. So my thing is, it's like, when when is black women going to take responsibility for their part? I'm not saying our part. Niggas fuck up. We, we doing wrong. That's what I'm here for. But when is women going to start checking other women about their toxic behavior and how they're contributing to the destruction of, of, of our community too? Go ahead, sweetheart. Oh yeah, nah, my um it was uh my phone was dying. But yeah, women do women do need to take accountability. They need to own up, they need to know that they toxic too. Yes, sis, you toxic. You toxic. And it's okay that you were toxic, you know, or that, you know, you're whatever whatever you going through, you know. But right. it starts from within, you know what I'm saying? Within. Like what do you want your daughter? How do you want to raise your own daughter? You know what I'm saying? And, like, a lot of people, like, some of these women, yo, like, look. Some of them lost causes. Like, they just they just lost causes. Like, that's just it. Like, some of these women, it's, like, it's crazy. Like, like the women, look, the women, too, like, they worse than the men. Like, when it comes to certain situations like this, like, they worse, they worse than the men. Like, it's crazy because, and you want to know why, they, why they're worse than the men? Because they have all of this power to do so. Exactly. You know, like, and they it hurts me won't, that, my, yep. that 
it hurts me that my my own like the women that's in my family are toxic as fuck i can't be around them i need to to separate myself away because that toxicness comes to me and like when they're gossiping and they want me to gossip too and want me to you know involve myself in that stuff and like i'm just not like that i'm not that type of gossiping person talking about oh well what's happening to love in hip hop today or oh girl that girl so uh, 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 uh you know x y and z and like all of this type of stuff like i just don't associate myself with that i don't watch that type of stuff you know what i'm saying it's not entertaining to me like i just don't like that type of stuff so i don't want to entertain or talk about these things that are irrelevant to me you know like it's just it's just crazy and some of these women is lost causes they're going to die toxic yeah, and it's like what women don't realize is the standards that they hold themselves to is the standard of the black community because we all follow y'all, whether we want to admit it or not. Everything yeah. a nigga do from the clothes he wear to his goals is to attract you. You feel me? Like, I'm not a weak-ass nigga. But if you if you ask me, Pharaoh, why did you, why did you just go get your hair twisted and get an edge up? Because I know females going to look at me, motherfucker. That's why. Pharaoh, why you? What you talking about? Everything I do is for is I'm for a women. Virgo. Me too. So, with with that being said, everything black men do is for women. And if y'all destroy the image of yourselves in our minds, then y'all destroy yourselves in our minds. So, if you show me that you don't give a fuck about you as a woman, I don't give a fuck about you as a woman. So yeah. then, when you, by the time you care, you start to care about yourself. It may be too late because I may not never learn to care about you. So I'm just to the point where women need to actually take responsibility in the fact that they are portraying our portraying their selves as whores for benefit. Why every time I seen a motherfucking video, I'm gonna say I'm gonna bring up Meg the Stallion again. I seen a video of Meg the Stallion walking around and she was twerking, then some little white boy started twerking and his mom was there. And if you just look at the difference between the way the, the white mo mother was dressed and the way Meg the Stallion was dressed, it just shows you, like, why white women don't do that? Why white women? Why don't white women? See, see, it's one thing, and this is what I want to bring up, right? Because a lot of people are going to say the white man. I don't want to hear that white man shit. Yeah. Because the white man controls national media. They don't control your Instagram. Y'all motherfuckers acting like Females is on CNN doing a cucumber challenge. You uploaded that to your own social media. So it's one thing to listen. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. If I was an alien from another planet and I came here to do a, 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 a analysis on what race of people, specifically women, cared about themselves the most and I didn't know any history, all I knew was race, and, 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 and my analysis was based off of social media only i would think that that black women had the least respect for themselves because once again it's one thing to talk about the white man in the tv it's another thing to talk about why you posted that picture of your own self it's another thing to talk about why you sucking cucumbers on your own instagram it's another thing to, to post why you twerking with your kids on your own instagram so my thing is we can't control bigger platforms that's true but what the fuck do that got to do with what you showing on your own platform so it, it's exactly. gonna come a time it's gonna come a time for for good versus evil and, and and good and evil don't have a race it's a frequency and it's gonna come a time for 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 light versus dark righteous versus unrighteous it's gonna come a time for black men to say all y'all bitch ass niggas have to go and what y'all yeah. niggas want to do. If y'all don't want to go, bitch, we can shoot it out. That's fine with me. But you have to go. And it's going to come a time for black women to say, all y'all toxic-ass women have to go. Period. So my thing is, yeah. how do yeah. how do 16-year-olds have such access to 30 different toxic women icons, but they don't even know what Lauren Hill look like? Go find a random go find a random 15 year old and ask her, has she ever heard of Lauren Hill? Ask her. Just just and I don't know. Go back down to saying. what her mother listened to and, and, and what her mother is teaching her. The same thing, same generational curse. She don't obviously care what her daughter listened to or whatever the case may be. Because I grew up listening gonna... to nineties music. My mom never listened to no uh 
to know like raunchy music like that. Like I listen to right. old R and B, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I that's what I currently listen to now. And then you know guess who they go and guess who they but guess who get the blame for that? Me. Me. When you raise your daughter off of Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and fucking Meg the Stallion. True, and, then the she, niggas. and then she it's go the out niggas. here at fifteen and sixteen and she being promiscuous. The first, the, the main nigga who get the blame is niggas. I'm gonna tell you what, I wasn't riding around listening to no Cardi B. I didn't program that little girl to think it. I wasn't listening to Trina. I wasn't niggas wasn't listening to Lil Kim and Trina and all of that shit. Females. So my thing is females entertain, but it's just you know what I always bring up Atlanta. I go to Atlanta all the time. Nothing but love for Atlanta. But Atlanta is the perfect example of what I'm always trying to say. So I'm gonna bring up Atlanta again. Atlanta, right? Females always stick their own foot in their mouth. What do I mean by that? Females entertain homosexuality. Females advocate homosexuality. Females is the ones that feel like gay hairstylists and makeup artists do hair better than actual real women and makeup better than actual real women. Females are the ones that go to the mall and pick out outfits with a gay man. But then you don't, you don't want your nigga to like niggas. And then it's like, when your nigga cheat on you with a nigga, you hurt. But it's like, why are you mad that you advocated your own competition and it competed with you? That's so, that's that's facts. It's it, yeah, it just to the point where it's like, do you or do you not want this form of competition? So when it comes to women, okay, we can't, I'm not saying that if women stop acting raunchy, that it will delete certain male behavior, but it'll stop a good percentage of it. And so why do women not want to take responsibility for their percentage of the toxicity, specifically in the black community? When you go to the motherfucking, if you just look at the award shows, just watch, watch the Oscars and just look how white women dress at the Oscars. And then watch the BET awards and look how black women dress. You don't see white women with a motherfucking breast extra pressed up, extra tight ass, small ass dress, ass all out, motherfucking articulating themselves, you know, extra, 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 what's the word? Sexually. They just, they basically, they're not trying to sell sex constantly. Yeah. I'm not saying white women don't sell sex, but I said constantly, constantly. Go watch Love & Hip Hop. That's all you see. Even when they're doing the interviews, everything is... Uh, everything is sexual. And it's like, you don't want people to sexually visualize you constantly, but yet you constantly sexually express yourself in this manner. So it's like, I'm tired of women because they don't want to be women, but then they don't want to let a man be a man. No. And then they want a good man, but they don't really want a good man. They really just want to be a man eater. Like for example, women say they want a good man, right? I'm going to use myself as an example because people might say, Phil, do you think you're a good man? Fuck yes, I do. So let me let me use myself. Women might say, send me a good nigga. And then I come and God sends you me. Soon as I say, take that bum ass, blonde ass wig off your head because you don't want me dating white women. So take that off. Soon as I say, let's eat healthy. Soon as I say, let's, let's homeschool our kids. Soon as I say, stop sending these kids off to daycare. Let's spend quality time with our kids. As soon as I say, stop running off to the motherfucking club every weekend and let's take family trips. As soon as I say, stop, stop, stop hanging with them toxic ass females you hang it with and let's, let's do family things. As soon as I start telling you to leave the toxic areas of your life alone, I got to go. It's all hell break. All hell break loose. So my thing is, you don't even want a good nigga. You want a nigga that's going to feed your toxic activities. So my yep. thing is, women don't really want to be women. And they don't want good men to be real men. They want to benefit from the wicked privileges yes. that they have been given. And I'm okay. not going for that. So you can get the fuck out my face if you that type. But my thing yeah. is, women need to be told about themselves. And these niggas is afraid to tell y'all. Because then when you tell them about themselves, specifically black women, they last forefront is... Why y'all always talking about black women? Everybody always got something to say about black women. We trying. You ain't trying shit. You full of shit. You's a lying motherfucker. You ain't trying nothing. Shut the fuck up. And so my thing is, 
I'm gonna tell you about your bitch ass though. Not because I want to advocate the strength of another race, but because I know the true potential of mine and I want to motherfucking see it. And so my thing is, I just want to let black women know I'm riding with you, but you're not the majority of y'all, not all, but a good majority of y'all are not riding with y'all selves. Y'all are selling y'all selves short and y'all are blaming people for shit that ain't nobody fault. But you're saying thing with these niggas, niggas, nigga get 25 to life and then blame the white man. The white man didn't tell you yep. to shoot that. He didn't tell you to shoot that nigga because he stepped on your shoe. It's like, nigga, you did that because you've been listening to too many motherfucking rap. Other dumbass niggas. So it's yep. just like, at what point in time are we going to say, this is the white man's fault and this is not? Exactly. The white man, the white man didn't tell you. Yeah, exactly. The white man didn't tell you because you mad at your girl. Fuck them kids. He didn't tell you that. You nigga, that's some spiteful bum ass shit you chose to do. So, For real. so 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 when a black woman then call family court on you, don't be talking about the white man got me on child support. Cause it's, it's plenty of niggas that's wrongfully on child support, but you're not the one. You the one that's right. Yeah. So it's like it, it, motherfuckers want to blame the white man or blame stereotypes for the shit that's actually their fault. So my thing is, I'm tired of that. And and you said it, and I'm gonna repeat you. It's all about accountability. And until women take accountability for the shit that is their fault, we don't want to hear about the shit that's not their fault. So my thing is, yeah, my thing is, as a black man, if I died today, I wouldn't trust 80%, no, I wouldn't trust 90% of the black women in America to raise my daughter. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I wouldn't trust 95% of you niggas to raise my son. And that's a problem. I don't trick motherfuckers talking about it takes a village to raise the child. Well, we live in a day and time where the best thing you can do for your child is move the fuck out of the village. And so people need to respect that. The village ain't the same no more. This shit is the killage. This shit is self-destructional. And nah, so y'all, y'all, if it's not about, if it's not sexual or if it's not, a, if it's not instantly gratifying, y'all don't give a fuck. Hard work, struggle, dedication, you know, uh, discipline. None of that shit is shit that interests y'all. Intellect, learn. Half you motherfuckers don't have an attention span long enough to watch a one-hour lecture, but you will watch the same video 50 times in a row. That's one hour. If you if you watch one rap video 30, no, 10 times, that's 30 minutes. But you could but you but I couldn't sit you, I couldn't y'all motherfuckers will sit down and watch, y'all females will sit down and practice a twerk dance for 30 minutes until you get it. <laughs> Just to get just 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 so that you can go on on Instagram and, and and utilize that shit for sixty seconds. But I couldn't sit one of you motherfuckers down to watch one Jill Pooprum lecture. Half you motherfuckers. Oh, it's boring. Like, I don't want to watch that. Half y'all, half y'all. When I just said Jill Pooprum, y'all don't even know who that is. So my thing is, y'all need to take responsibility for what's y'all fault. You're not going to blame black men for everything. We're not yeah. taking, we're not taking, I will take responsibility, me as a black man, whether I do have the shit or not, I got to eat that. I will take responsibility for the shit that niggas do. And I'm doing my job to fight against those behaviors. But women ain't doing shit. They're not doing shit. Y'all not doing shit. Y'all motherfuckers, y'all motherfuckers, y'all motherfuckers do what y'all want to do. And y'all feel justified and entitled to do that. And my thing is, you can get the fuck on. This is a new day and time. All of that, um, all of that feminism shit, because that's what it is. It's feminism. All of that feminism shit, that shit don't fly with young Pharaoh. If you a shitty mom, I'm going to tell you. If you walking around here looking scampy, I'm going to tell you. If you saying shit on TV that's going to affect younger generations of females in a negative manner, I'm going to tell you. If you're advocating shit that's, that's, that's convincing people to, sec to allow themselves to be sexually exploited, I'm going to tell you. All that. 40 inch sewing and booty shorts and that shit don't mean shit to me. All that big bank account don't need a nail shit don't mean shit to me. Females feel like they don't need a nigga, but that's because you feel like first you didn't need yourself. Because if you realize you need yourself, you know you do need a man. Because all these yeah. females that's talking about they don't need a man, let's see what happened when a war when a war break out and I don't protect you. What, what you think gonna happen? Motherfuckers gonna kidnap you and they gonna rape your ass. So and they gonna scream you with need a, a man. That's supposed to be. You Here. need a man. And I need you. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and act like I ain't a nigga. I need a woman. I need women. 
And it's not just for sex. It's, I need women. I need women because it's, it's shit I could talk to about women that I can't talk to my niggas about. Exactly. I need, I need women. You feel, How the fuck we going to learn how to cook? Women, y'all are neater and cleaner than us. I need women for ideas. Just shit like, yo, what color go with what? I need for women to say, hold on, nigga, that don't match. That go. We need each other. So don't be, don't be trying to allow this false sense of identity that these Europeans gave you as an excuse to be fucking up the balance in the force. So my thing is, women feel like they don't need their own self. That's why they yep. feel like they don't, they don't need us. But when they realize that they need that, that inner voice, they're going to realize they need us now more than ever, and we're going to realize we need them now more than ever. So black women, you know, as I pass this mic back, I want to let y'all know the best thing you could do right now is shut the fuck up. We don't want to hear no more excuses. Work on your own self. Lead them excuses in, 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 in two seconds ago. Not even yesterday, two seconds ago. Right now is the time to look in the mirror and ask yourself, after I take this week, this, this makeup off, after I take this wig off, if you got breast implants, you know, whatever. Before you did that to your body, after you take all this fake artificial shit off, after you done being somebody fake for the camera, who the fuck are you really and were you really meant to be? And that's the motherfucker that you need to pursue, especially if you're a black exactly. woman. So, y'all mean, I don't want to hear that bullshit. I'm not the, I'm not the nigga. I don't want to hear, oh, my ex did me that. I ain't your motherfucking ex. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, I'm passing this, sweetheart. You got it. I didn't, I didn't say what I need. This, I'm about to. My DMs about to be. I'm about to be getting cursed out all night in my DMs. <sighs> Hope nobody don't come up in my DMs with the bull. But anyway, I mean, that's what they you know do, what man. Like, every, every time I say some real, every time I say some real shit, they, they fly right up in there. I used to like you, but I don't like what you said about. I remember well, when fuck I was you then. Like so what? Like I don't like look. And this is this. This is the thing. You know what I'm saying? Like with me. There's a lot of people because I do I do speak on you know what I'm saying like you know us black women we need to you know be held accountable you know if it's okay that you've been done wrong okay it's okay that you've been you know traumatized as like me too me too right. okay I've been hurt my dad is not in my life like that you know what I'm saying but that's not like I'm like oh all these niggas you know all these niggas they ain't shit you know what I'm saying and rah 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 like having this type of energy like for what I don't know I can't speak for everybody but I'm only speaking for myself you know it starts with you first what do you what is your what is your sole purpose in life do you know do you know what your sole purpose is in life women do you know exactly. if you don't know that's what you need to be seeking out why are you trying to find a man and you don't even know what your sole purpose is to this life, to this earth. What are you here for? Like, beyond, you know, going to work or, you know, all of that. What is your sole purpose, you know? And what can you, you know, like, man, look. Mm. Yeah, listen, you you spot on. You spot on. You spot like, on. Yeah, you spot on. And, and it, just, it just all boils down to this. We got to do better, yo. You know, but some women look. Let me tell you, man. Like, look, we do got to do better. But like, some of these women, man. Like, yo, like when I talk to my mom and when I talk to like, and it's like, damn, like I'm the young one out the family, but I gotta teach y'all. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, damn, like y'all was supposed to be teaching me, but now I gotta teach y'all, and now y'all looking at me different. Like, who the fuck I think I am? Oh, I'm young. I don't know shit. Oh, oh yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? And it's like, it just it's it's crazy to me. Like, some women they lost causes, bro. It's it's dead. Some of them they dead. They dead. They only they don't even know they dead yet. Did they dead? That's why. Like, that's why when motherfuckers. Awesome. That's why when motherfuckers ask me, oh, for real, why you don't? Why you don't? Like I don't just be talking to motherfuckers, man. And it's like women need to realize that a lot of the times they project the way they feel about themselves on niggas because it's a scapegoat. Yep. Like like niggas and with a lot kids. of. Yeah, that too. That too. And it's like, nah, it's time to look in the mirror, woman, black woman specifically. It's time to look in the mirror. You don't like your own self. You don't think you pretty enough. You don't think when you wake up in the morning, the way you woke up was good enough. So that's why you get all dressed up. You're not, a, you're not trying to be a bad bitch because you a bad bitch. You're trying to be a bad bitch because you feel like your original self ain't good enough. Okay? Exactly. Motherfuckers be out here talking self -worth. about self-worth. Exactly. You, exactly. You don't have no self-esteem. You don't have no self-worth. You don't like the curly texture of your hair. 
So so it's time to be real. You don't you don't you don't want to raise a man uh to be masculine. You you like little boy niggas. So you talk shit about uh you know I don't little niggas is little boy, but that's all right. Like let me give you an example, right? Females be talking about some I don't want no little ass boy. But they be having names like Asian Dow, Cash Dow. Everybody on the internet is a Dow. Kids <laughs> play with Dows. Kids play with Dows. Yep. What kind of grown? So so you gonna come in my face if I walk up on you on the street and I say, "How you doing, beautiful? Can I have a second of your time?" And you say, "Yeah," and I say, "You know, I want to get to know you." Blah blah blah. What's your name? And you say, "Oh, my name is Asian Dow." Bitch, I'm not twelve. <laughs> I'm not seven years old. What you mean, Dow? Oh, I'm a Barbie. You got grown ass females out here talking about they fucking Barbies. I, like, I don't know. I look here. I don't understand that. Like, oh, I'm a Barbie. I guess because they foot with plastic, they feel like that's a. I don't know. It, it's like, why do they feel like that's a good thing? Like to be a Barbie, to be not your original self. Exactly. And I'm like, man, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit. It's like, dog, you wanna females want their cake and they wanna eat it too. They wanna be toxic. They wanna be non-accountable. But then they want a nigga to come and, and still and still play that role. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dog, ain't no man, ain't no man. Like, and when we say a man, I'm not talking about gender right now. I'm talking about psych psychologically. Don't no man want no kid. So if you're a grown ass woman that exhibits or eludes to any childlike behavior, you gonna run a nigga off or a nigga not gonna respect you. So I'm not. I'm gonna tell you right now to your to all y'all face. If you act like a little ass girl, I don't. I respect you as a human. I don't respect you as a partner. So I'm not even gonna fuck with you. As soon as you get to talking that cash Dow, Asian Dow, and I'm a Barbie bitch, gone gone here. Cause I'm a grown ass man. I don't play with toys. I ain't played with toys in about ten motherfucking years, maybe over ten years. So don't. So it's just like, dude, females out here carrying themselves like they twelve years old. And then it's like you want a nigga to respect you. And you know, wow. and you know what's crazy? <clears throat> they stuck in that. They stuck in that age psychologically from whatever because they either had a child young at like fifteen, and they feel like, like in that current situation, oh, I have this kid. I didn't get to live my life. I didn't get to have my childhood. So let me live this throughout my twenties and my thirties. Let me right. continue to do that. You know what I'm saying? And man. And then it's like, that's crazy you said that, too, because the shit that they doing that they consider living life, that's not life. Like, it's a whole world out here. Going to the club and turning up, that's your best life. Like, let me ask y'all, let me ask, just put something out there. It's countries you've never been to. It's 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 fresh water that you've never swam in. It's, it's, it's shit like waterfalls that you've just never seen. It's It's animals out here you've never seen in person. It's people out here that got talents and abilities that you can learn from. All of this shit on the planet Earth that's available to you. Your best life is going to the club. YOLO. <laughs> like, bitch, if that's your best life, you need to get the fuck out of my face. Like, it's, it, 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 if you out here turning up because you feel like you missed out on something, then you don't realize that you never even got a chance to realize what something really is. So, all y'all females out here, y'all under pressure, you know, if or if you under pressure to be out here going hard, you know, to 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 imitate these motherfuckers on TV, that's not life. That's not life. That's like a motherfucker saying, I'm going to play games all day, you know, and never go outside because I ain't get to do that shit when I was a kid. Nigga, do you know how much more to life it is than the game? Oh like, my nigga, gosh. Do you know how much more to life it is than the game? You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, man, y'all women have to take accountability for the fact that Hold on, y'all to kick me out. I'm back. Hold on, y'all. It kicked me out. I'm back. Let me know when you come back. Okay, bye.
Yeah. Yeah, my bad. I think Instagram kicked us out. But um yeah, I remember when I had to look in the mirror and I had to tell myself, honestly, I had to say, nigga, you a piece of shit. I had to really tell myself, I had to look in the mirror and say, nigga, you a piece of shit. And I had to ask myself, like, dude, you can talk this white man shit all you want, but, because I used to be one of them niggas that sell drugs and then be like, oh, we're the white man put us here and we just trying to make it. Like, no, you're not. There's a thousand other things I could be doing besides selling drugs. Like, yeah. nigga, please. So it's just like, I had to just really be honest with myself and tell myself, like, nigga, how many households is you destroying? Who who mama is this? The motherfucker you talking about is a lady. This is my mama. You finna, if I, if I hit a fiend and I get you high, did I get somebody raped today? You know what I'm saying? Did I get somebody abused today? So that's the type of questions that we afraid to ask ourselves. Yep. If I hit a lick, nigga, and I hit you with some Montague, which is heroin if y'all niggas don't know, if I hit you with some work, which is crack if y'all niggas don't know, did I just get a motherfucker raped? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nigga, we, these are the questions we don't ask our motherfucking selves as men. And we need to start asking ourselves that. At, at, to, to whom's demise am I benefiting? And I had to ask myself that in the mirror and I had to change because it was something, once I asked myself, my soul said, nigga, no, it's another, <laughs> yeah, it's another way. So women got to ask themselves that too. When I get on this TV or I get on this internet, this Facebook, this Instagram, and I'm shaking my ass and sucking on a cucumber or I'm saying shit like niggas ain't shit, whose son going to read this and feel like, well, if females going to say I ain't shit, I got to battle. Because ain't nobody just going to let you talk down about them. Exactly. So if if you saying I ain't shit, what you think I'm gonna say about you? If you saying you don't need me, what you think I'm gonna say about you? So women gotta take accountability for their percentage. I'm not saying it's all y'all fault, but but we can go fifty fifty. I'm gonna yeah. eat my fifty, but women y'all gotta eat y'all fifty, and together we can get right a hundred percent. So you know that's just how I feel about it, man. And I feel like, man, I don't, I I I wish black women specifically. You know, I'm not racist. I love all women. I yeah. think every, everybody should individually love themselves for who they are. But since I'm black and I'm and the problem is in my community, I'm talking to my community. So I feel yeah. like black black women, I honestly wish y'all knew how motherfucking powerful y'all was. Man. This shit ain't about yeah, this shit ain't about trying to kiss y'all ass. This shit ain't about nothing. I wish y'all knew, you know, <laughs> the sci the science and just simple shit like melanin. I wish y'all knew how powerful y'all was. Don't you think that? Don't you think, like, all of this, you know, like, with women being toxic or whatever, you know, and for them to be finding themselves, don't you think it would stem down to, like, their religion and how they, how they, you know, think? You know what I'm saying? Like... That too. Because I feel like, like, with, like, a Christian woman, Muslim woman, whatever type of woman, you know what I'm saying? Um, Like, they don't, they don't, like... It's like they blame the devil and, and Jesus for certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it's beneficial. But, like, right. like the self, they don't understand that this devil that you're talking about is you. It's you. It's you. It's who is it, it, you. Right. And half you know what I'm saying? And like, and, yeah. And half y'all motherfuckers worse than the devil. Because the devil ain't the devil ain't dead half the shit you motherfuckers did. Y'all motherfuckers be blaming the devil the devil needs to start blaming you motherfuckers. The devil ain't never the devil ain't never attacked his kids because he mad at the dad. The devil yep. ain't never, you know what I'm saying, belittled his children because he's mad at the father. The devil ain't never weaponized the fucking family court system because the nigga don't want to be with you. The devil ain't never influenced other baby devils to go out here and shake their mm -hmm. ass in hell. Like mm -hmm. so it's like half the shit y'all do, motherfucking y'all motherfuckers is I, I, I dare any female to get on here and tell me 10 things the devil did. <laughs> get on here right now. I dare y'all motherfuckers to get on here and say, well, the devil did this. He yep. did that. He did that. And he, you can't. The only thing that y'all know about the devil is that God chose for him to punish motherfuckers when they go to hell. I don't want to hear nothing about and devil, what is the devil. It? Yeah. What but it's like, what, is what did you do to get to hell? Mm -hmm. That's like saying... That's like saying the motherfucking, the motherfucking, and I'm not saying the courtrooms is righteous, but I'm just making a, a, a analogy here. That's like saying the judge is worse than the motherfucking rapist that's on trial. What are you talking about? You mad at the, you mad at the district attorney 
But nigga, he just sentencing you for what you did. Now I know that America's corrupt. I'm not sitting here acting like the yeah. government ain't corrupt. So I'm just giving a fucking analogy. So please don't take that literal at all, because I know most of these judges and DAs is worse than the niggas that's on trial. But mm -hmm. my thing is, hmm. All right, but my thing is, man, females, y'all got a long way to come, man. Even even small shit like uh, psychological verbal abuse. When y'all gonna take accountability for that? Y'all always talking about some niggas putting their hands on y'all. Y'all put y'all y'all put y'all y'all tongue on niggas all the time. What? What? How many how many niggas do y'all curse out? Call them broke. I should have talked to you. I just, man, listen. I, I say this all the time. I ain't got. I got sisters, biological and some females. I just call my sis. I just seen them say shit to niggas. I probably would have smacked their ass for it. I don't even put my hands on girl. I just seen females tell niggas, "You a broke ass nigga. I should have talked to your friend." Or I should have never had a baby by you. And da 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 What about all of the shit y'all say to niggas that wear a nigga ass out? That what about the shit y'all say? Yeah, the shit y'all say to y'all son. Oh, you you gonna be a bitch ass nigga just like your dad? Or I didn't see females tell tell little boys. Man, listen, I was I I was uh I ain't gonna say her name. It was a friend. It was a somebody that's from, from around my way, and her son was uh talking to me about Muay Thai, and I was showing him something, and she was like, "Stop acting like a bitch." And I had to tell her like, "This a kid." motherfucker like he got a right to be like he ain't this ain't no grown-ass man that's in the military this is that's a fucking you. kid so don't talk don't talk to him like that but this is what y'all do every day you how, how many of y'all punk y'all sons because you feel like you don't got no power in other areas of y'all life so so you you punk your sons you extra hired on your sons yeah you know i'm saying so it's like females y'all y'all do a lot of sh underhanded shit that don't nobody talk about and motherfucking y'all got this unspoken code of the shit y'all do, and it's justified. And then as soon as somebody say one thing, you feel like, nigga, you ain't got no right to speak on me, or this, that, and the third. So, you know, I just want black women to know, we see y'all bullshit just like y'all see our bullshit. And everybody got to gotta get it together. This shit ain't about the blame game. This shit is about... Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We gonna, we gonna take responsibility for our... Niggas, y'all need to know y'all pussy. Y'all weak. Y'all niggas is lame as fuck. Don't nobody respect y'all because anybody outside this community could come in here and do anything. A woman could come up, come up missing. Children could come up missing. Niggas get shot by police. You ain't gonna lift a finger. You niggas ain't gonna advocate for nothing righteous. Use a bitch. You need to clean it up. Females, y'all out here shitting on niggas. Uh, you out here destroying the lives of these kids with your toxicness. You out here and you out here competing and battling with every other female. You out here promoting uh insecurity. And, and beauty standards of other races of women and and, and, and and the other shit that we talked about and y'all need to take accountability for that and when everybody take accountability for their actions we're gonna be okay straight up yeah right well, and i'm i'm straight on that period mm -hmm. unless you want to unless you want to add on that i'm gonna I'm flip the scene to religion <laughs> Woo-woo! Um, hold on one second. I'm a, um, I'll be back. No, you good. Yeah, y'all, so y'all know how we rockin', man. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't go fuck who don't like it. I'm gonna tell the truth. I don't, I don't, I don't sugarcoat for nobody. If you wrong, you wrong, you right, you right, dog. If you wrong, you wrong, you right, you right. It's a lot of women out here that be destroying motherfuckers. Y'all be out here destroying these niggas. And then get mad, talking about niggas ain't shit. Y'all know how many niggas y'all destroy with y'all mouth alone? Come on now, it's some females who who need they at. I mean, excuse me, who don't who don't need they they who don't need hands put on them. But then you got some females who the shit you say out your mouth, you need your ass punched in your fucking mouth. So that being said, it's it's time to clean it up, man. All this niggas ain't shit rhetoric, and I don't need no nigga, and I want a scammer and whoopty wow. That shit is garbage. That shit is trash. All that coming on the internet, sucking on a cucumber, and fucking all that bullshit twerking, all that that shit is trash. Fuck that. I don't want to hear nothing about no slut walk, no women's rights. I don't want to hear about none of that. You need to sit your whole ass, whorish ass down and have some self dignity. I don't want to hear none of that shit, man. Y'all need to get y'all need to get this shit together. Y'all grown as hell on TV walking around like fucking garbage. And then when somebody say you garbage, now you up now now you don't tell me that. I'm a black woman. I didn't nah, 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 nah. no no nah, nah, I don't want to hear that. You don't get that argument. You don't get that. Not today. Put some fucking clothes on, but um, yeah, yeah, we straight, so yeah, we Gucci. But yeah, um, yeah, yo, shout out. Type your Instagram in a joint so people can follow you.
this shit not about an age thing too. I seen that somebody say that one second. You you, you gotta go. pin it. Okay, I'm a, I'm gonna pin it right now. I'm gonna say this before before she go, y'all, because I'm gonna switch this to, to religion and bring some religious people in here. This shit not about age. You feel me? Because that's another thing that 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 women do to 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 detach from accountability. Like, oh, that must be the younger generation. Like, nah, motherfucker. It's some stupid ass old people. And there's some smart ass young people, and there's some stupid ass young people, and there's some smart ass older people. It's about like mindedness. I know some healthy minded younger women. I know some healthy minded older women. I know some toxic ass younger younger women. I know some toxic ass older women. It's about frequency. We're not gonna play the blame game. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's just another way to not take accountability. If you can't blame the white man, then you're gonna blame the age group. We're not gonna do none of that. We're going to blame the mentality. Wherever the mentality exists, that's where the problem is at. And it needs to go. Period. And so, uh, you know, everybody follow her. Show her some love. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, this my people's right here, y'all. She good people's. Get with her. And, um, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to switch this topic to religion. And then I'm going to go live on my gamer channel, y'all. We're going to turn up on this Call of Duty. That should be popping. If y'all be on my gamer channel, y'all then y'all know my well, shit. Well, on uh, Xbox? I got an Xbox, but I ain't got Call of Duty for it. I got Call of Duty on play. You know, what you know about Call of Duty? I don't play no Call of Duty. I, I don't play them type of games. What you play? I play like Kingdom Hearts.